Good morning. I think it is day number 10 on the trail. It's your homie, Scotty P, out here drinking coffee, watching the sunrise. Um, got to some decisions to make today. Uh, there's the normal um, or the official Continental Divide Trail, then there's an alternate called the Spotted Bear Alternate. Um, that's supposed to have some pretty cool views, but the reports on both trails through the Hiker Grapevine is that. The CDT is has about three miles of blowdowns. Me, or the other trail has high rivers and is severely overgrown. <laughs> so I don't know. People often refer to the the, the Continental Divide trails like a choose your own adventure kind of novel. Um, like choose a trail with three miles of blowdowns. Get scratched up. Fall down. Get hurt. Whatever. Um, or wade through really deep, cold rivers. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I really dislike blowdowns, and I'm still recovering from the other day. My legs are just torn to pieces. Um, they're still healing, but, like, it's they're so, so, like, beat up that, like, every scratch I get now is, like, over a scratch. And uh, I don't know. Just I'm over it. So I might just choose overgrown and high rivers. And hopefully I don't regret my decision. <laughs> I feel like I've been walking for like, well, I don't feel like, I know I've been walking like 10 miles through burn area. It's crazy to think of the scope of these fires, how huge they are. Just devastating. Anyway, there's some trees coming back. It'll be a forest again. As far as I can tell, I'm in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. I've always wanted to hike in the Bob Marshall Wilderness, and that way I could be like, yeah, I'm hiking in the Bob. I'm in the Bob. The only reason I'm saying that is I've heard lots of people say it, and it seemed desirable. And uh, to be honest, it is very satisfying to say. So I'm going to continue on in the Bob. Gooseberry Guard Station. Pretty cool. All right, right by that guard station was this nice little creek, easy to get to at the deep spot, so I took a little bath. Did some laundry. I got my stuff hanging up over here. Uh, I'm gonna have some lunch now. Probably like one o'clock. I think there's a campsite like 10 miles away from here. Um, which, depending on what time it is, maybe I'll stop. Got all my stuff over there, drying off. Um, that was icy cold, but I feel pretty darn good, pretty refreshed. Well, that worked out nicely. I didn't even realize that that creek I jumped in for a bath was a creek I was going to have to cross anyway. Um, and it was reported to me that it was like super high and scary to get across, but that hiker um, hiked it last week. There must have been more snow melt. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it was deep, I mean, but it wasn't scary or anything. Um, anyway. Just kind of let my shirt and some of my stuff dry out a little bit more, and then I'll keep on hiking.
All right, well, that river crossing was a little more intense. A couple deep spots, current's going pretty strong. I made it, I only got sw almost got swept away a couple times. Ain't no thing. Hope I don't have any more like that. Keep my eyes peeled for a Sasquatch. Cause these woods where I'm at right now, they're feeling mighty squatchy. Purdy. That's where I came from. I've lost the trail for a moment, but Oh, yeah, look. Look, how, look how crystal clear this water is. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think that might be the trail over there. Hot dog. Anyway, this water is so clear, so cold. Very beautiful. Would you look at that? Man. A giant waterfall is coming from all that snow up there. This is easily one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Man. Stunning everywhere I look. Greens, beautiful waterfalls. Amaze balls. I feel like I've got this whole mountain to myself. Me and the marmots. How pretty that is. Big old mountains way back there. back up in the snow. Um, obviously I can't see the trail. I'm just gonna walk this way and try to find it up here. Um, should be in this direction. Well, that's a good sign. I think I see the trail up there. Excuse me, I've just been walking up a mountain in a direction, keeping my fingers crossed. And my first post hole, a post hole is when you're walking and your foot falls all the way down up to your hip, <laughs> which it did. And thankfully, once again, did not lose a shoe. Now, I'm gonna stop recording. So I can try to stay on this trail. <laughs> oh, well, this is interesting. It would appear that the trail goes right through this lake. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll walk around somehow. I 
am beyond whooped. I have had a huge climb. Look at those that sky and those clouds. Man. I don't know. A mile and a half left to camp. I don't know. It's been hard going up here. It was a huge climb. Lots of snow fields. It's been a challenge for sure. It's really steep. This is definitely the sketchiest thing I've had to do. I had to walk all the way. And as you can see, um, I really dug my feet in and took my time, went slow. Now I'm really worried my campsite's gonna be under snow. <laughs> what a kick in the balls. That is Dean Lake. <sighs> Gotta navigate some more snow. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping I get over this. And my campsite's not, the place I want to camp isn't covered in snow. Otherwise, I might just throw the towel and find a semi-flat spot. I feel like I can sleep anywhere right now. All right, keep on, keep on for a moment. Gotta be real, I am up in these mountains. <laughs> wow, well, I made it through the danger zone, as far as I know, I found the trail. Whew. All right, found my home for the night. After getting through some stuff, I am beat. Looks like some dark clouds are rolling in. I'm gonna set up over here and uh, Hunker down for some weather, I guess. I'm at over 7,000 feet right now. I don't know my exact elevation, but I'm up there. So today went from like one of the most beautiful to like one of the most technically challenging, navigating all the snow and losing the trail. I mean, there, there is no trail. It's under these giant ice fields. Um, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm, I'm not sure. I think I stay at altitude for, for a little bit. Um, I don't even think I've even made it to the pass, technically. So, I don't know, hopefully this snow isn't as bad over there. It's not looking good. I, I'm up pretty high. So, whatever. Just got to take my time to get through it tomorrow and um, keep moving forward. Hopefully I don't slide down a mountain. <laughs>